What's going on everyone? Brennan C. Adams here. And today I want to share with you, for one, I'm going to do my podcast show for Tuesday every once in a while. I'll do it in this community. I'll give you a sneak peek of my podcast show that I'll air on Tuesday. I repurpose this content and we'll cut it and turn it into a podcast show. And what I'm going to share with you today is I'm going to share with you I'm going to share with you how I spent the afternoon creating a course. I wanted to create a course that was basically for somebody that works a nine to five, works the full time job. They're not quite an entrepreneur yet, and they want to become an entrepreneur. The basics. So, by the way, Karina, um, I took some of your advice, dude. You're going to love this course. I'm, I'm making it for everybody starting out for less than a hundred bucks. I have twelve videos in the course. I have content, I share everything people need to know if they want to go full-time as an entrepreneur, how to go from idea to online making revenue in less than 30 days, and I share it all. I filmed this out today. So I'm going to start this and turn it into a podcast show, and uh, this will be basically me sharing how I did it, and for any of you, if you're interested, you can message me on how to get access to the course. I, literally, you can create something, and, and I, I filmed it, I brainstormed it, I filmed it, and uh, now it's uploading, but I did it in four hours, four hours and 11 minutes. So now it'll be up by tonight, probably in click funnels. So if you focus on something, you can do it. So I'm going to share it in the show. So let's get into it. Welcome back to the Live to Grind podcast show. I'm Brendan C. Adams. And on today's show, we're going to talk about how to challenge yourself, challenge yourself on a regular basis and get things done in a short period of time. I'm going to share with you really how I today, today Sunday, share with you um, how I created a course in an afternoon and how easy it is. And I challenge people that are in my accelerators, I challenge people that are around me to always do things that they think are unthinkable because I'm the kind of guy that gets shit done and just does it, puts it out there and it's not always going to be perfect but along the way I'll perfect it and that's uh, what I've, I've done this afternoon. So I wanted to create this course. I want to create a course uh, that's based around the idea to revenue in less than 30 days. It isn't like so much. I talk a lot about the advanced things you do as an entrepreneur, but I'm talking about people that work in a nine to five or they're, they're, they want to do their side. They want to do a side gig or want to become an entrepreneur, have their own business someday, but they have no idea where to begin. And that's all right. That's why I created this course. So I decided to cater it to that person. And I've, I've never created a course like this before. And I wanted to create this. So I challenged myself, and this morning I woke up, I read, I was reading uh, in chapter two of Think and Go Rich, and I, I ended up uh, actually writing down some ideas, and I'm like, I told Samantha, I'm like, okay, we're going to go to the gym, but I'm going to create this course today, and I did. So what I did is I created a course called Idea to Revenue, and it basically is targeting towards somebody that wants to become an entrepreneur, how to make money online. And I structured it out. So here's the structure I did. And here's for you if you want to create your own course, you want to do it a short period of time. And for anything, like just literally knocking shit out and getting it done. So what I did is I started around 2 p.m. At 2 p.m. I started. I said I want to get it done in four hours. So I first brainstormed out the content. Here's what I want to share. And the first part I put, um, by the way, I also created in this. I also created um, a Facebook ad video and then a landing page video where people to go to so it's ready to already like promote online and then also the, the content for the video. So the first thing I did was I created the landing page video, basically the video to add value so people can go to this, they can see the blog and they can see the video, get value. At the end of the, the video, I, I pitch the, the course. I'm like, hey, you want to get into the course? It's... Uh, it's 100% money back guarantee. Here's a chance to learn more and to learn how you can make your money online. So I did that video that was about 16 minutes. And uh, then I went in to doing the intro to the course. I created the intro video just talking about here's what you learn in the course. Here's some of the, the resources. And also you can get access to us if you want to, in a Google Doc, we have where you can ask any questions. I will answer them for you, any questions you ever have. I put that in there and then I structured out. I, I put the main things for having your own business. Again, this is for you. If you're going to create your own course, you can do this. Write down the topics you want to talk about. I did this and I had like 12 main things I want to talk about. And then bullet point what you want to talk about in each thing. And I when I filmed, I had my white backdrop and I had the lights here and I had like some props I used to show. And I just went right through it. 
and it was end up being I think around um, two hours of content, maybe not quite uh, two hours of video, um, but just small good chunk sizes to consume and get. And uh, any more, I like to have anywhere from like a four to like ten minute video, so people can consume it, they can get it, and uh, they go to the next one. Because if you get too much, people they lose focus. So I filmed the intro, and then I filmed basically the basics. First, figure out what you, and this really advice for anybody, what do you enjoy to do? What do you like to do? And, and find, and I take it straight from Jeff Hoffman. He says, figure out what you really love to do, what you enjoy to do, your expertise, and find a way to make money doing it. Build a business around it and get people to pay you for it. And that's basically straight out advice to you. And let's say you're in the fitness industry. Figure out a way to make money being able to work out every day and be able to share with others your experience and do it online. And this is something that uh, just uh, Samantha Rosie, my girlfriend, just actually did. And she launched and basically took all her knowledge, put it online, put it in a course and sold it and got um, 10 people into her program. And now it's going. And again, like that was just making the commitment, taking her knowledge and what she loved and turn it into something. So for you, taking what you know and what you love and turn it into a way to sell it. And first, I mean, you got to create, you got your LLC, you get your, your website, you get your website, you can go to Wix.com and literally get it made for uh, free. It's pretty easy. And then get your PayPal or Stripe account where people can give you money. Um, and then uh, from there, think about, okay, what you're going to sell and things you can sell anymore. You sell your knowledge, you can sell a course, you can sell um, consultation, you can sell a book, you can sell speaking. You can sell, um, you can do drop ship, you can sell shirts like my Live to Grind shirt that I always wear. You can sell uh, literally anything. But the easiest thing to sell right now is knowledge. So I talk about, okay, here's the products you could sell. I listed them. The easiest one are consultation and, and courses and uh, basically giving your knowledge to others and doing masterminds and groups. And uh, so that's one area. So after you know what you need to sell, um, what what is how are you going to sell it? The big thing is how do you actually sell it? And in that I shared on this, I shared how you want to sell things. This is straight out like what you really need to do. Beyond all the marketing things you're doing, you need to reach out to people every day. I have a routine of reaching out to X amount of people a day, sending X amount of emails a day and doing that every single day, keeping that a routine. It's a numbers game. The more people reach out to you, the more results you're going to get. Doing that and then also putting out a piece of content, whether that's a Facebook Live, whether that is a uh, podcast show if you're doing that um, or just putting out a blog, putting something out that's of value to people, people can consume and they go back to you. So that shows you how to actually sell stuff. And then it's taking it to the next step. It's actually like after you're selling your product, it's scaling, it's charging more, it's taking the people that went through the program and taking them results and putting them into video testimonials and then taking the video testimonials, putting your page and then being able to sell your product for more and more and it's scaling it. Your first time around, you may not charge as much, but then when you scale it and people get results, you can charge more money for your product. So that's for anything. So went through that, and then also it's the main topics, which I think everybody should do, and this is something that I, that I talk about in my Influencer Academy, is basically the, the, the power of writing, the power of speaking, the power of podcasting, the power of video. So I talked about all four. I talked about literally like what equipment you need to get, and I talked about, and for podcasting, I talked about how I've done um, just doing with a, a iPhone. You can record your sounds app for, if you want to have it more high tech, like you can have, I have an ATR 2100 that I record into. I have for Skype, my call recorder. Like I gave all the basics for starting a podcast show and then tactics to actually um, be a master and make relationships and do big deals on podcasting. And then video, the most powerful thing you have right now. And, just starting from your iPhone creating videos for marketing to going and buying a Canon 70D and creating custom videos for a YouTube channel to doing some Snapchat, Insta stories. Video is powerful in today's day and age. Uh, the next one, writing. Writing books. Start by writing a blog and writing on a regular basis and then writing your own book and then selling that book which leads to building up your authority and then leading to getting more sales and more trust with people. And then speaking. I shared with how to become a public speaker, how to become a keynote speaker, how to structure your thoughts. It's, it's really coming down to knowing what you want to talk about and telling stories along the way and sharing that with your audience, which can help you in so many things. And then in the last one, I gave the main tips and advice. 
I gave my best tips. I did like 12 minutes of complete like full value talk on my best tips on um, like daily routines, mindsets, my warrior chant, everything else. And there was, I created that whole course, all the videos in a few hours. So it took like over four hours to create the whole concept, all that. Now it just comes down to me, which is time consuming, is basically uploading to YouTube and then taking them, put them into ClickFunnels and then adding some templates and copy. And by tonight, the course will be up. And that was just me challenging myself and I wanted to add value to the audience. And at the end of the day, I mean, I know people buy the course, but if nobody buys it, I challenge myself, I got better and that could be like a product that offers uh, value to others and I learned something and I got better today. I got more experience in front of the camera. It's just practicing, it's like going to the gym. You're going to the gym every day to get uh, better and better in shape. Uh, for me, like being in front of the camera all the time is getting better at what I do for being in front of the camera and being able to organize my thoughts even more efficiently and then put it into a course concept. So that was my challenge for the day. And I always challenge other people. What can you do in a short period of time? What can you do in a day's time or a week's time or a month's time? What can you do in 30 days? And when you set big goals, you learn something in the process you get better and you, you make some mistakes, but you actually like you get towards that goal. And, and today, my, my big challenge was to create a course and I'm going to get it done, not in four hours, but it'll be done in the afternoon where it's up and ready to sell by tonight. And that's all because I just wanted to challenge myself today and get better. So if I challenge you, I challenge you to get better every single day and to scare yourself with your goals every single day, every single week because it is powerful when you do that and it's like repetition and discipline for yourself and for me um, that was my thing today and if you do have interest and have want to get access to the course and I'm doing like an introduction I think I'll it'll be less than 100 bucks for the course if you want to go on the notes at live to grind.com forward slash 236 that's live to grind.com forward slash 236 this is a Tuesday podcast show and uh, you can find everything there for that. And also for Thursday, we're having Ed Sang. He's going to talk about mindset, the power of mindset. He talks about how to stay focused. And even if you're in college, um, like what things are, you're going through, how you can overcome that, no matter what your situation is. Mindset's everything. And just a great show. That'll be on Thursday. And we're going into the holiday weekend. It is Memorial Weekend. Happy Memorial weekend, day weekend. Um, I hope you guys drive safe when you're traveling. Have fun and uh, be sure to just enjoy yourself. Maybe consume some some valuable when you're driving. Consume some audiobooks. I know that I will be going back to Iowa. I'm actually driving back to Iowa here. I'm going to be in the ice truck. So if you're in the northeast Iowa in, or the, the Wisconsin region, I'll be in a truck delivering ice because I, I really enjoy that uh, for the holidays. And I'm going to have some fun. going to hang out with my dad and family. And this is Samantha. I'll be coming back early next week. And then, uh, yeah, that's the adventure we're going on. And we'll be documenting all the video along the way. So I hope you enjoyed today's show. You know what time it is. It is time to go out there, create something great, and become unforgettable. Because life is too short not to. I'm Brennan C. Adams. Have a great day, everyone.